What's going on guys? Today I get to review the newest Metaverse virtual reality headset. It comes with over 18,000 different locations to travel to. I'm just kidding. This is actually an eye massager. Look it. There's not even like, this isn't even, this is, this is a cloth. This is, covers your eyes. You can't, this is no virtual reality. But this is actually way sweet. It's not a VR headset, but it is an eye massager and also like a head massager. So I've seen these before and I've always been really super skeptical about them. And I've always been kind of on the fence like, uh, I don't know. But so far I've liked Bob and Brad's products. So I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll check it out, see what I think. Since I was skeptical about it, I thought I would review it, talk to you guys about what it does and then tell you my honest thoughts about it. So first of all, this is an eye massager to relieve eye strain, to relieve tension, to relieve headaches. This can be used in all those ways. And simply how you use it is you long press the power button to turn it on and it will speak to you. So that's the cool thing about it. It has audio to let you know what buttons you're pressing. Just because you have your eyepiece on, you can't see exactly what you're doing. So it will audibly tell you what you're selecting. This is what it sounds like. Boom, we in business, it's working, it's running. So right now it's on heat and air compression only. I turned off the audio, there's three different levels. You can have it on low, medium, or high, or completely shut off the audio. Same thing with the air pressure. You can do low, medium, or high, or completely shut off the air. And that's simply by pressing this button. Not only can you adjust the audio level, you can also adjust the air pressure, but you can also cycle through different modes just by quickly pressing the power button. Air pressure with heat and vibration. Air pressure only. Heat only. It also has this adjustable strap on the back of it so that you can adjust it to fit your head size. And it also has these pads on here which are easy to clean and it looks pretty sleek. It looks like a VR headset. That's why I kind of started with the video like that because it looks legit. Now let's dive into what I think about it. Let's go cons first and then let's talk about the pros. So the first thing I think of when a con with this thing is the audio. I don't mind the audio noise for telling you what buttons you're pressing. I think that's useful. But as far as the white noise goes, it does not sound very quality at all. I'd rather just put my AirPods in and listen to those instead of this, just because it just sounds rough. <laughs> so I, I don't think you would buy this if you're like, oh, I'm looking for a headset to just drown out noise around me. No, I, do, I don't think that's why you would buy this. I like that it cycles through the, the different buttons you're pressing. It gives you audible cues to let you know what you're doing. But as far as the just the ambient noise, I don't love it. Another thing that I'm just not the most sold on, it's okay to me. It might be better for some people than others. I'm not the biggest fan of it is the vibration thing. It just kind of feels like tickly on my face or something. I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan of the vibration and the audio. However, I'm a really big fan of the air pressure and the heat. So actually that's all I really have been using on it because that's what I enjoy the most. And I actually think for those reasons, I really enjoy the product. I think it has um, some room for improvements, but in those areas of actually massaging and heating your eyes, I think it feels great. I was actually really surprised at how well it does massaging your eyes and putting different pressure in different parts of your head. So actually pressing down, like I wouldn't think that this would be able to grip my head strong enough, but it actually does a great job with like, I wish you guys could experience it as well and feel the sensation because it actually does a great job. It feels like this. I actually use it sometimes after we're done like playing video games or something and I've been staring at screens all day with work. Sometimes my eyes just feel tired at the end of the day. Maybe a misconception about it is that it's gonna be like this, massaging my eyeballs. And it's not like that. It's like massaging your eye sockets, it's massaging your temporal lobes, it's like relieving this pressure through here. I think this is great for people like me who are staring at screens all day and your eyes just feel tired at the end of the day. I feel like it just does, does a good job at just relaxing you. So those are my thoughts about it. If you wanna pick one up, uh, I'll put the link in the description. So thanks Bob and Brad for letting me try this device out. Check it out if you want to, link in the description. Peace.